Hello and welcome to this video. In the last video from the Visa Bulletin for the month of May 2023, we saw the cut of numbers to apply during the month of June 2023. Now, in today's video, we will be taking a closer look at those cut of numbers and say what they mean for applicants in their respective regions. That is what we have in today's discussion. Now, let's begin. Let's begin with the Africa region where the cutoff number to apply during the month of June 2023 is 63,500. Now, setting the Africa cutoff number for the month of June at 63,500 is good news for many applicants from the Africa region. Some time ago, we saw the conditions that cases have to meet in order for them to be scheduled for interview. And one of those conditions was that their case number becomes current. Now, with a 63,500 cutoff number for the month of June, it means that nearly all cases from the Africa region are now current. The exception is only one case, the case number 63,502. That's the only case that is not yet current from the greater Africa region. And so applicants from the Africa region will no longer be preoccupied by their case number becoming current. Their challenge remains the performance of their respective embassies. As we've indicated before, those applicants who are assigned to embassies that are performing well have a good chance of being scheduled for interview even if they have high case numbers. So with the 63,500 cutoff number for June, it means that some of you with case numbers as high as 60,000 plus who are assigned to embassies that are performing very well will see your case being scheduled for interview, whereas others with case numbers that are far below yours may not be scheduled for interview simply because they are assigned to embassies that are not performing well. As such embassies that are not performing well, those applicants who still have a good chance of being scheduled for interview are those whose case numbers are close to the current interview scheduling range. Let's take for example, if you have an embassy that is not performing well from the Africa region, where interviews are currently being scheduled up to the 19,000 plus case number range. Applicants with case numbers in the early 20,000s still have a good chance of being scheduled for interview because in the remaining three months, we expect interviews to be scheduled at such embassies up to the early 20,000 case number range at least. It may well go beyond that but that is not guaranteed. That is why I limit it to only those who are close to the current interview scheduling range. So to summarize for the Africa region, we can say that with the 63,500 cutoff number for the month of June, there is only one case from the Africa region that is not yet current. And that is good news for those with high case numbers especially those assigned to embassies that are performing well. Now to the big one, the Asia region. For four consecutive months, we have seen the cutoff number for the Asia region maintained at 18,750. And the question has been why? Why has the cutoff number for the Asia region been maintained for so long? Now, there are a number of reasons why the cutoff number is usually maintained. I have explained a number of them. You may be surprised, but the answer to that question is connected to the performance of the embassies in the Asia region. You remember we said whenever there are more available visas than cases that are to be dealt with, then the cutoff number for that region is increased in order to make new case numbers current so that those cases can benefit from the available visas. Now, in the case of the Asia region, it is the other way around. In other words, there are many cases 
with case numbers that are still below the current cutoff number from the Asia region that still need to be dealt with. How do you get to know that from the CA data of the embassies in the Asia region? Now, with the exception of the Amman embassy, which we covered some time ago, the rest of the embassies in the Asia region have interviews being scheduled for case number ranges that are far from the current cutoff number for that region. Take Riyadh, very far from the 18,750. Colombo is another example. Doha, Qatar, the same situation. It is true that Abu Dhabi is performing well as we said in past reports, but the current interview scheduling range of the embassy in Abu Dhabi is not very close to the 18,750 cutoff number. That indicates to us that those embassies still have many cases to deal with before getting to the current cutoff number. That is the most likely reason why the 18,750 cutoff number has not been increased in the Asia region for the fourth month running. When most of the embassies in the Asia region have interviews being scheduled for case number ranges that are close to the 18,750 cutoff number, that will be the signal to the visa office that the current cutoff number needs to be increased. That is why I said the answer to that question is connected to the performance of the embassies in the Asia region. Now to the next question, will this cutoff number, the 18,750 cutoff number for the Asia region increase before the end of the fiscal year? Now I personally think that it will increase. It's very unusual to have a cutoff number for a region maintained for seven consecutive months. But that is not the main reason. The main reason why I think that that cutoff number will increase is because in the coming weeks or coming months, I expect interview scheduling at most embassies in the region to get close to the 18,750 cutoff number. And as I said earlier, that would be the signal to the visa office that the 18,750 cutoff number needs to be increased. So for applicants from the Asia region whose case numbers are not yet current, your prayer or your wish should be that the embassies in your region begin to interview many cases in order to move closer to the 18,750 cutoff number. And that answers the next question, when will it increase? Now, no one can say the exact month that is going to increase. But as I just said, when most of the embassies in the region have interviews being scheduled close to the 18,750 cutoff number, that is when you can expect it to increase. And then the final question concerning that issue, what number is it going to increase to? That as well, no one can say. When it comes to the movement of the cutoff numbers in the visa bulletin, anything is possible. It is possible that the 18,750 be increased to 20,000. It could be increased to 20 plus thousand, 22,000, 24,000, 25,000. It is even possible for that cutoff number to leave 18,750 and then the Asia region becomes current automatically. So anything is possible when it comes to how far the 18,750 cutoff number for the Asia region will increase. Now to the Europe region where the cutoff number has been maintained at 30,000 for the past three months. But this time around, the reason behind the cutoff number being maintained at 30,000 is different from that of the Asia region. In past reports, we indicated that the embassies in the Europe region were performing well. So the performance of those embassies is not the reason why the 30,000 cutoff number has been maintained. The most likely reason for the 30,000 
cutoff number being maintained in the Europe region is because a few months ago, the cutoff number for that region was increased so high, it allowed so many cases to become current, and it is those cases that are still being dealt with. Once interview scheduling of those cases gets completed, we will see the 30,000 cutoff number for the Europe region increase. For North America, the 15 cutoff number, which applies to both the months of May and June, makes that region to become unofficially current because we saw that the highest case number from that region is 13. So having a cutoff number of 15 makes all case numbers from the North America region current. So although it is not mentioned in the visa bulletin that the North America region is now current, the 15 cutoff number for the months of May and June has made that region unofficially current. But that region, which comprises only one country, has very few selectees. And so there is actually nothing to report when it comes to the North America region. Now to the Oceania region where the cutoff number was increased from 1,450 to 1,550. Now in the past discussion, we saw that both the Oceania region and the South America region were very similar, that chances of applicants from both of those regions did not depend on the performance of their embassy. It is in both of those regions that the norms of the diversity visa program are actually being applied. In other words, those with low case numbers have a higher chance of being scheduled for interview than those with high case numbers. And that situation continues to play out with the new cutoff number for the Oceania region. At 1,550 cutoff number, there are many cases with high case numbers that are not yet current in that region. And so in the Oceania region, those with the highest case numbers are actually those that have the lowest chances of being scheduled for interview. They are the ones that are most at risk, if you like. Because in the remaining three months, interview scheduling may not get to their case numbers. Now, as I said, when it comes to the South America region, it is very similar to the Oceania region. But the main difference is that South America has its cutoff number closer to the highest case number in that region. The cutoff number for the month of June for the South America region is 2000. 740, whereas the highest case number from that region is 3,158. So it is likely that in the remaining three months, the cutoff number for that region will reach the highest case number or get somewhere close to it, and so that reduces the risk of high case numbers in the South America region as compared to the Oceania region where the current cutoff number is still far from the highest case number. So that's the major difference between the Oceania and the South America regions. But as I said, in both of those regions, the norms of the diversity visa program are being respected and that is what should have been the case for all other regions. Low case numbers have higher chances of being scheduled for interview, whereas high case numbers have a low chance of being scheduled for interview. So that was a closer look at the cutoff numbers for the month of June as shown in the May visa bulletin. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it and see you God willing very soon in the next video. Until then, goodbye.